What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrat89 here, bringing you another review here to talk about, so far, one of my favorite films that I've caught this year, 2022, just dropped, well not just dropped, but it's out this year, it's been out for a couple of months I think, it's on Hulu right now and it's called Fresh, starring Sebastian Stan and Daisy Edgar Jones. This was quite the time for sure, and today we're going to talk about positives, the negatives, the rating, I'm going to send you all home and I'm going to try to keep this as non-spoiler as best as possible because I feel like this is one of those films like the more you talk about it you're just at risk of spoiling something just in case the like the people haven't seen it so let's get into this we're gonna try to do this stay tuned roll it So Fresh is a new film I caught on Hulu, like I said, starring Sebastian Stan and Daisy Edgar Jones. It's directed by Mimi Cave. And let's get right into the positives right away. Is Mimi Cave's direction style is great. I think she obviously has a certain style and a way about filming and the cinematography, the music choices, the soundtrack, all that kind of stuff do a great job in assisting and taking you through this movie. And it might not be songs that you would think to choose to put in a film like this, but it totally works and like I said her style is clear cut throughout this entire film that Mimi Cave knew exactly what she was doing when she was trying to put the best product forward on screen. Another great thing about this film is the cast, the actors and actresses, all of them across the board and it's a small niche cast too, not huge and I like that aspect because sometimes films a crime or something criminal they can do is have too many cast members or just too many characters and you can't really gravitate or get to know the characters as much or feel for them and this one is perfect in terms of the amount of characters and cast and they all have great chemistry on screen and that does a great job too and just making everything that you put on screen when you're doing dialogue or having sequences everything is just so much better when you can feel that chemistry between the actors and the actresses. Another thing about this film that's pretty awesome is the gore effects like I love gory stuff and like this isn't like super hardcore gore but it's it's like you know it's not gore for the sake of gore they shoot the blood and the gore for artistic kind of value and cinematography and it's done very well you know it's not like completely show a kill or show something happening it's like no we're gonna show you the most artistic really good way and something that'll keep the tension within the scene and that's what i really like about this film is like i said it has a clear-cut style and easily as this film was progressing it just kept checking checking the boxes and checking the boxes as i was watching and i'm like damn like for real this is climbing up the list and it is easily so far i can tell you in my top like five probably of the year that i've seen so far it's just so good the story and the only thing i knew about this film before i went into it was that it was a, a dating thriller that's all i knew really about this film but it, even knowing that you really can't tell where this film is going to go the route it's going to take and everything and it really does take you on a certain journey it's also another positive i really enjoy about this film is there's a like the first 35 minutes they lure you in with this false sense of security making you feel and think that it's a different kind of movie like i said for the first 35 minutes if you were just to watch that and then stop the tape you would totally think and in your mind finish the movie off in a completely different way and then they flip the script on you. As a matter of fact, the title card sequence doesn't even show up in the film until about that far into the movie, dropping the hammer on you, like I said, and flipping the script on you. That way you know, oh, wow, we are in for a page turner. Or like, that, you know, I'm not going to be able to take my eyes off the screen. Another cool thing about this movie is I love our main, like our main actress at first was a character that they kind of set up that I didn't like at first because she made like kind of really bad choices. And just as it was going on, you're like, what the fuck are you doing? And then, like, as we get into the second act, as we get into the third act, it's like, oh, man, they totally flipped my perspective and my view of her. And I love that when a film is able to take a character for me and make me feel about them a certain way. But, but then by the end of the movie, I am totally changed my point of view or I sympathize or I can understand that point of view. It's like that's beautiful that's like some of the best things that storytelling and cinema can do is really put you in the shoes of somebody else that way you're able to experience it and think about it and feel what they're feeling inside of the story it just makes it so much more grounded and so much more realistic and like i said fresh is definitely one of those films we also have some great side characters as well too like her best friend character is one of the best best friend characters you can have in like any movie like she's the one you're going to want tagging along with you for real because 
she's she's never gonna stop her. She's gonna come. Like it's like that's what's cool is like there's so many great likable characters and it's a small niche cast. And Sebastian Stan does a great job too. He he does amazing. Like just seeing him as Winter Soldier isn't enough. Like you know he's great as Winter Soldier in Marvel, but there's so many other roles that he's been doing lately that he's just knocking it out of the park for sure. Now let's try to talk about one negative, and it's not a huge negative. This is more of a nitpicky negative, because I'm telling you right now, I enjoyed this movie. It was checking all the boxes. I freaking loved it. My only nitpicky thing, I'm going to try to dance around this without giving a spoiler away, is that I wish there was something that stuff that happens to our like a character in the film. I wish more happened by that third act, so it was just a little bit more stakes or it created another obstacle for our, you know, for something to happen, you know? It would have just made it a little bit more tension, a little bit more stakes, but that's it. That's like a nitpicky thing. The whole film in general, like everything else, I freaking loved about this movie. In my book, Fresh, currently on Hulu, is going to get a 9 out of 10. Yes, this is a very solid 9 out of 10, strong. I'm going to return to it again pretty soon to see if it holds up, holds up, but I really do had like had a freaking amazing time with this film and like i said it was one of my favorites so far that i've seen out of this year it's probably easily in the top five so thanks for sticking around with y'all and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing on the channel i'm going to be having a lot of other videos coming out like i said i've been checking out a lot of movies recently so i want to do reviews on them might pop out a ranking video but i'm going to ask uh, post a Twitter poll on my Twitter account so if you haven't yet make sure to go over there and follow me on my social media so you can be there to vote on the Twitter poll for one of my videos that's going to be coming up and I also got some Arrow video releases that are going to be coming soon so we'll go over those titles when they arrive. Thanks for sticking around with me all and don't forget to like and subscribe and have a safe and happy day. Peace out!